it is okay not to know who you are or exactly what you want to be or do right now. <laughs> you know, I, I talk to so many young people, um, and by young I mean, you, you know, young women in their 30s or young girls in their teens who feel like somehow um, they should know the answers to all of these fundamental questions now. Um, you, you might feel like once you're grown that, that you're supposed to have all the answers, um, that, that, that there's a point in your life where you will feel settled and everything will feel certain and all of those anxieties will just fade away. Um, and if you're my age or older, we, you know, you, you kind of chuckle at the notion that somehow or someday you wake up and the fog goes away and life is all just clear. But the process of becoming yourself doesn't work that way because, as I've always said, the process of becoming isn't finite. Uh, it doesn't have an end. It's not like you wake up day, one day and you are who you were intended to be and that is that. It is a process. It is an ever-evolving process. You never stop becoming. You never stop growing. You're always changing. And the thing I say is just imagine if the opposite were true. Just imagine if one day it's it. You've learned all that you're going to learn, and that is all. That's sad. Um, the truth is that your goals will shift over time. You will uh, naturally uh, find different components of yourself. You will learn lessons. You will shake off vulnerabilities. You will make mistakes that will teach you different lessons. All of that is coming. Um, and all of that will continue to happen for you throughout your life. It, it happens to me even today. And I hope that in 10 or 20 years, I'm still learning and growing and making mistakes to, that teach me something deeper about myself.